let's look at vectors in 3d space so when we talk of 3d, uh, 3D space uh, let's x y z uh, coordinate system so let's say this is x this is y and this is z let's say we have a point here p so let p be a point in space if we drop a line from p let's say this p is here from p to the x y plane right so a perpendicular is perpendicular to x y plane so this is m now let's say this is perpendicular and this is perpendicular let's say this is a this is b and this is c so m a is perpendicular to x axis m b is perpendicular to y axis and p c is perpendicular to z axis o a would be equal to x o b is equal to y and o c is equal to z so the coordinates of the point p would be x comma y comma z now z which is equal to o c is equal to pm distance of p from x y plane y is equal to o b which is equal to a m so distance of p from x z plane and x is equal to o a which is equal to b m so distance of p from y z plane now unit vector along x is given a special identifier called i and since it is a unit vector that means its magnitude is 1 to show that it is, we are talking of unit vector we put a cap so we can say 1 comma 0 comma 0 unit vector along y is given a special letter that is j so this is 0 comma 1 comma 0 similarly along z axis is given the letter k 0 comma 0 comma 1 now point x comma y comma z if you look at that point this point if you look at the point p we can say the position vector of p is equal to o m o p is equal to o m plus m p right o m plus m p okay o m itself can be written as a m plus o a okay so o m can be written as o a plus a m plus m p now o a plus a m if you notice is parallel and equal to o b so o b plus m p is parallel to o c parallel and equal so let's say o c we wanted all these to be in terms of the origin so now o a if you look at it it would be what it would be some multiple of the unit vector along x axis so x axis along unit vector some multiple similarly ob would be some multiple of the j unit vector so y j similarly this would be some multiple of 
k unit vector so a 3d vector can be written in terms of the coordinates x y z or we can write it as some multiples of the x y and z components x i plus y j plus z k so as i just mentioned x y and z are the components of the vector now let's look at op this is 90 degree so op square pythagoras theorem op square would be equal to om square plus pm square in triangle opm so in triangle opm op square is equal to om square plus pm square why because opm is a right angle triangle so pythagoras theorem now if you look at om itself now om is nothing but part of a right angle triangle a o m right so in triangle a o m o m square is equal to o a square plus a m square plus p m square so o a square plus now a m square a m is nothing but parallel to o b so again o b square plus p m is nothing but parallel and equal to o c so o c square so this is the 3 d equivalent of the pythagoras theorem now o p if we look at it as a vector the magnitude is equal to x i plus y j plus z k which is nothing but square root of x square plus y square plus z square so this becomes the magnitude now what about the direction so direction we have to look at now, now again let's so if this is the point and this is the vector o p then there will be an angle formed with the y axis there will be an angle formed with the x axis and there will be an angle formed with the z axis alpha is the angle with the x axis beta is the angle with the y axis and gamma is the angle with the z axis now alpha beta and gamma the values will range from 0 to pi that is 0 to 180 degree because we are not interested in uh, positive or negative so it is the nearest angle that we are interested in so here if you look at it cos alpha would be equal to what cos alpha would be equal to x divided by the hypotenuse which is the magnitude of let's say a or since we are talking of point p let's say op similarly cos beta is equal to y by hypotenuse which is magnitude of op and cos gamma is equal to z by magnitude of op now remember whenever we talk of any trigonometric functions ultimately what we get is a number a real number so the number cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma are called the direction cosines and special 
letters are assigned to it and represented by L, M and N. So if we are talking of a vector A and its representation using unit vectors and coordinates is yj plus zk it is the same as saying magnitude of a with li plus mj plus nk remember this is unit vector and this is the direction cosine so li plus mj plus nk is the unit vector along the vector a now cos alpha remember we say it is l and which is nothing but this right similarly cos beta is equal to m which is equal to y by a and cos gamma is equal to n which is equal to z by a and let's square this so this becomes square which means this becomes square that means this and this becomes a square 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 so which means if we add up this cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to l square plus m square plus n square now this would become x square by a square plus y square by a square plus z square by a square now this is equal to lcm is common so x square plus y square plus z square by magnitude of a square now magnitude of a is what magnitude of a is x square plus y square plus z square square now we can cancel out that square root using the square so it becomes x square plus y square plus z square so these two get cancelled and we are left with 1 which means that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. Now if you want the same thing in sine form, what do you do? Straightforward, we know what is cos square. 1 minus sine square cos square beta is 1 minus sine square beta cos square gamma is 1 minus sine square gamma l square m square n square remains the same is equal to 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 right so 3 minus sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma equal to 1 if we take this 3 to this side minus 3 so this 1 minus 3 becomes minus 2 minus minus gets cancelled so we are left with this sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma is equal to okay now that is direction cosines now the three numbers proportional to the direction cosines of a vector a are called direction ratios of a so if you have direction ratios p q r and direction cosines is L, M and N then P is to Q is to R 
is equal to L is to M is to N. Let's say A is XI plus YJ plus ZK. So in this particular case, P, Q, R would be equal to X, Y and Z. Okay, let's see, let's see how it uh, works out. Let's say I have a line going through point A and B. Let's say A is X1, Y1, Z1. B is X2, Y2, Z2. Let's say this is O. So AB is equal to OP minus OA which means x1 no x2 y2 z2 minus x1 y1 z1 x2 i plus y2 j plus z2 k minus x1 i plus x y1 j plus z1 k or in other words x2 minus x1 i plus y2 minus y1 j plus z2 minus z1 k so direction ratios of a b would be x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 so we have seen how to represent uh, vectors in 3d space we have seen how we can evaluate their magnitude and the direction in the process we have looked at direction cosines and direction ratios so that's it bye for now.